I see Bruna and Lanfranco there. Domenico's with us online. I don't know about Suzanne today if she's coming. She might be working. I don't. I don't know. Me. Kahoot. Praticamente sì, però come come la gente si iscrive poi. No, we don't know. Five or eight. Okay. Mm. Let's see. All right. Bruna's in. What about Domenico? I'm no, Everybody's now. in. Are we ready? No. Mm -hmm. Let's oh, Simone, are you coming in? Well done. No, you're the unicorn. Okay, you're in. I'm gonna start in a second. Let me change it. So you don't like being a unicorn with no, um with the, with the chucho, like a baby, no. <laughs> the, with a chucho? Uh, chucho. <laughs> try in again. A, you, can English, it. you can change in, it. You can change it. In English, I don't know. In, uh, in it's a pacifier in English. Pacifier. A pacifier. No, I don't understand. Pacifier. Pacificare, pacifier. Great name. Yeah, because you're pacifying a baby. Oh, okay. oh Simone now is a dragon with a pacifier. <laughs> Quite an improvement. I want to. I'm here. It's too late. It's too late. You're a, you're a baby. Why I am baby dragon. It fits. Every image, every image that they choose, uh, I have a pacifier. <laughs> Why? Well, you probably are the youngest one here anyway. Okay. All right, we... we're starting. Ready? Okay. Ready. Start. As ready the American as can legal be. system. Easy peasy. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Quiz. According to the U.S. Constitution, the three branches of government are legislative, ex executive, and red judicial, yellow jurisprudence, blue judiciary, green jolly. Okay, do that. Great. Can you see me? Can you see the screen? Eliminate me. Okay. All right, everybody got it right. Well done. Good for you. Can I move ahead? Can I go on? Yeah. Yeah, Ready? you caught me by surprise. No warming up. No warming up. That was your warm up. <laughs> okay. Your introduction. That was your introduction. Yes. Yeah. Who's I'm... fastest? Lanfranco, oh, what's the problem? Three points. Fast like semen yesterday. <laughs> No, I, 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 is Lanfranco, are you in? Is your phone okay? I I I have problem every time I have problem with my smartphone. No? Next time oh, you have a problem. That's good for Bruna. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a problem with your phone, it's very good for Bruna. You may have oh, to be a team. Bruna Ask, Ask Simone. is fast, but uh, she broke her, the, her screen. No. no. <laughs> No, it doesn't work. No, no, it doesn't work. Okay, yeah, moving on. Yeah, the of the group. Okay, here we go. Next one. Quiz. Article 3 of the U.S. book, whatever it is, guarantees the right to a fair trial before a competent judge and a jury of one's peers. Is it Article 3 of the U.S. newspaper, red, yellow, Bible, Law book or constitution? Oh, you guys are too good at this. But who's the fastest? Simone's the fastest. Mm. Interesting. Lanfranco's back in the game. <laughs> Quiz. A trial is a court case, a kind of transportation, a place to go running, or an examination. I don't know. 
Don't mix it up with a trail. A trail would be a place to go running. <laughs> a trade and a trial. Okay. I tricked you. I tricked you. Yeah, a trial is just a court case. Let's see. <gasps> Domenico, you've jumped into the first yeah. spot. Yes. Followed yes. by Bruno, Simone, and Lanfranco. Who's getting his smartphone to work again? That's good. Because last week, Lanfranco smoked everybody. <laughs> but this time... He's got to catch up a little bit. He's got the phone as a hinder. Quiz. A court case is a proceeding to decide if a person is guilty or not guilty, to determine a defendant, to decide what's for dinner, or to select a judge. <laughs> yes, it's to decide if a person is guilty or not guilty. Good for you. This is too easy for you, apparently. I'm hope I'm gonna have to step it up now. So far, so good. Please. So far, so good. Domenico, you're yes. still on fire, followed you're by first. Bruna. Yeah. Simone with his pacifier and Lanfranco with his Einstein hair. <laughs> Quiz. A verdict. Is a contract between two parties? Is a plea bargain? Is a decision whether someone is guilty or not, or means you're innocent. It is a decision whether someone is guilty or not. Good. Do you know what a plea bargain is? A bargain is a good affair. No. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a good deal when you go shopping. A bargain is definitely a good deal. A plea bargain is sometimes a good deal, sometimes not. A plea bargain is when you are accused of something and um, instead of going to trial, the other side says, hey, if you say that you are guilty, we will make your prison sentence less or we will, you know, so it's it's a it's a negotiation between the two parties where you say, OK, I'm guilty, even if you're not guilty, but something else is lowered for you. You say you're guilty, but you don't have to go to jail. Yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's a plea bargain. It's just, it's the name of that so that we, because people don't want to go to trial. They would prefer yeah. to have a settlement, but a, a settlement is when you, you agree to take money or something. Mm -hmm. And a plea bargain okay. is when you plead guilty, you plead guilty so that you do not have to go through the entire trial. That's okay. what happens a lot Plea in America bargain. right now. Yes. Oh, Domenico, you're still number one. Mm -hmm. Bruna looks like she's catching up, though. Simone mm -hmm. is uh, still in third with his pacifier. Lanfranco catching up, it looks like. Didn't, uh, didn't throw, okay. Material presented in court is also called red plastic baggies with things inside, yellow evidence, mm -hmm. uh, DNA this and that, and proof. Oh, evidence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> evidence or proof. Mm -hmm. In Mother, fact, you... no, 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 no. well, <laughs> we need to talk about the difference between the two, don't we? Lanfranco, big jump. It's, Simone uh, looks sad. And Bruno looks sad too. <laughs> so proof versus evidence. So a fingerprint like this on a gun is evidence of someone's guilt. If the murder suspect also had motive and opportunity, that's more evidence. If the investigators can put together enough evidence, they will have proof of his guilt. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So they're very similar. Mm -hmm. A decision about what type of punishment is called a Verdict, plaintiff, sentence, or a trial? No, got it wrong. I put verdict. <laughs> a sentence uh. is just about the punishment. Who determines the sentence? Ah, what type of punishment? Not if sure, it's guilty or not. The justice. Yep. So it's not if you're guilty or not guilty. That's that a verdict. Is the verdict. Okay. Uh -huh. The difference is that a jury decides a verdict. Guilty, yeah. not guilty. The mm -hmm. judge determines the sentence. 
Ah, uh, okay. So you are sentenced to something. Okay. Yes. The verdict is just yes or no. You know, guilty, mm -hmm. not guilty. Yeah. Got it. Ha. Oh, interesting. Mm. Interesting. Lanfranco and Bruna got it. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> True or false? A plaintiff is a person who brings a case against another in a court of law. True or false? Hmm. Oh, okay. It's true. Good job. Pure luck. Plaintiff. Pure luck. What is a plaintiff? Yeah, yeah plaintiff is that. the person who accuses. Put it on. Right? Mm -hmm. So, okay. So if I have a problem with you, I'm the plaintiff. Ah, uh, okay, plaintiff. It's just you see this on when you watch Law and Order and those um those shows on television, there's always a plaintiff. And that's the person who is accusing another person. Mhm. Mm mm, interesting. But the plaintiff could be an institution. I mean, it could be what? An institution. If you are suspected of murdering someone, you who is the plaintiff in this case? The state, probably. The state. Okay. Yeah. Quiz. What is the name of the exam you must pass to become a lawyer? The SAT, the LSAT, the PSAT, or the bar exam? Yes, it's yeah. the bar exam. Well done. The, the SAT. <laughs> the SAT is the exam you take to go to the university. It's like an entrance exam. The right. LSAT is the one you take when you want to go to um to law school. So if you want to start studying to be a oh, lawyer. Law SAT. PSAT, yeah, it's the law SAT. PSAT is the one you take before you take the SAT. <laughs> <laughs> the pre-SAT uh, pre and the bar exam. <laughs> the bar exam so, in fact, <laughs> when you take the bar exam, <laughs> you can bar enter bar into the American Bar Association, and the bar is that association of lawyers. Bartender. Like a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good job. Wow. Okay. Uh, I, first position. I don't know. Uh -huh. know Represents a person who is accused of a crime in court. Is it a judge, a prosecutor, a witness, or a defense lawyer? No, <laughs> Simone. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a defense lawyer, is the person who defends the person who is accused. So, not the plaintiff. Is, um, Domenico is on fire again. Bruna is very close to you, though. This is a very uh, close game. Okay. Uh, very uh, close. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this kind of lawyer argues that someone is guilty of committing a crime. Is it a prosecutor, a judge, a defendant, or a public attorney? It really, I don't know nothing about uh, this argument, and uh, I try to. Oh, but, okay, uh, yeah, well, you're learning. You we learn. So the prosecutor is prosecuting, right? So they're the ones who um, are going to be with the plaintiff. Okay, the plaintiff is the person who accuses. So um, if you have a plaintiff, it would be probably an individual. But if it's the state, we'd probably say the prosecutor when they we talk about institutions, et cetera. Domenico, you're on fire. Well, first, yes. Is that a frog or is it a fish? No, it's a frog. It seems to be, yeah. It's a frog. Okay. Very smart frog. <laughs> a or an mm, listens to arguments and decides how to punish a guilty person. Is it a public defendant, a judge, an accused person, or the jury? Yep. It's the judge. Because remember, the jury only decides the verdict. Mm -hmm. The verdict, uh, if, if, if uh, he is guilty or not. So, right. Uh, but in this case, we said the judge listens to arguments and decides how to punish. Um, um, so the sentence uh, of the sentence um, is the judge. I want, I want 
answer too fast. Uh, I, did, I didn't read the uh, anything. <laughs> ah, <laughs> you can't make it too easy. To, uh, okay. I, have to, I have to get your confidence up and then I make it more uh, difficult. If, See what I do? It's a trick. If I know the argument. Okay. Oh, Domenico. Uh, yeah. Well done. What is a witness? Is it someone who likes going to court? A person who sees an event take place? A person who has an opinion about an event? Or material presented as proof? Well oh. done. It's a person who sees oh. an event taking place. I tricked you with the picture. I put Sherlock Holmes, but he is not a witness. He's a detective. Ha, ha, ha. Everybody got it. Good job. True or false? A public defender is appointed when the accused cannot afford legal representation. This is true. Good job. Okay, and this is according to the Sixth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. It says you have an, a right uh, the right to an attorney, which is a lawyer, or a right to counsel, it's the same thing, in criminal proceedings. Uh, it's clearly stated in the Sixth Amendment, the U.S. Constitution, along with the right to a speedy trial, meaning a fast trial, <laughs> confrontation of witnesses, meaning that you get to hear what people say about you and then you can cross-examine them, and an impartial jury of your peers. Sixth Amendment. If you break a federal law, statute, treaty, or anything in the Constitution, it goes to mm, court, district court, federal court, city court, or international court. Yes. Well done. It goes to federal court. Just remember the word federal. Okay. So the federal court, anything that is covered by the Constitution goes right to that higher level. Lanfranco is on fire. Now in second place, catching up to Domenico. True or false? Federal judges are called justices. True or false? Your chance. No. That's it's true. Just think about the Supreme Court. Yes, That's maybe. a federal judge, but also below them, they're called justices. You're evenly divided on that one. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, Lanfranco, good job. True or false? Federal justices are appointed by the President of the United States. True. Oh, why did I get this wrong? Mm, courts are lower than circuit courts and the Supreme Court. Federal, district, city, or fun? Okay. It's true. So we have the order goes district court for we're talking about federal courts in general the federal courts are divided into district courts then circuit courts then the supreme court Luna's on fire now. i think that we've never seen this much competition before in one of our games this is very exciting i'm feeling pressure Wait, an application to reverse a previous decision from a lower court is called an appeal, a heartfelt request, a federal demand, or a wish. I like a wish. <laughs> I don't understand the, the question. <laughs> if you don't like the decision of a court and you want it to change, you file an appeal. This means that you go again you go to court again to a different court and say no this isn't right i want to do this again so it's a different than the italian court system because if i have a court uh case and i win i can stop and that's it i can have one court case or i can go back again and again and again and keep trying it until i get the the um the verdict that i want 
really? It's expensive, so repeat, but it's possible. You can repeat any, any times the same, the same level of injustice? I mean, you can... Well, you go to an appeals court after that. So you start in the district district yeah. court then you go to the court of appeals but you can keep appealing it you can appeal it many times mm -hmm. until you kind of but you have to have a reason to appeal it right you have to say Absolutely. well this evidence wasn't right or this you know there has to be a reason okay. but then you can who decide whether you can appeal or not right okay or you know they can say this isn't valid or something but mm -hmm. yeah District court decisions can be appealed first in court, monkey court, people's court, television court, or circuit court. Yes. Okay. That's the first level of appeals. Okay. The, dist the district court goes up to the appeals court, which is called the circuit court, and then the Supreme Court. One <laughs> That's finished. <laughs> that that was, uh, wow. This is fierce. Fierce competition. Yeah, I'm trying to catch up. True or false? A dispute between two or more states goes directly to the Supreme Court. It's true. Okay, it's called having original jurisdiction because a state against another state is too high for a district court. It goes immediately to the Supreme Court. They're very few cases where that's um where it can happen like that it can also happen with the president if the president has an issue it goes to the supreme court mm -hmm. it doesn't go through the district a state against another lanfranco oh, is in I number one domenico's dropped to number three bruna's the second yeah. look at the faces of your avatars oh, no. <laughs> the top two are happy the bottom two are unhappy Oh, except Simone, we don't know because he has a um he has a chucho. <laughs> <laughs> to acquit a defendant means the person is guilty, the person is innocent, the person loses their job, the person is imprisoned. If a person is acquitted, it means they are declared innocent. Okay. So we can say how did what was the verdict? We can say the defendant was acquitted, meaning they're innocent. Uh -huh. Good job, Lanfranco. Uh -huh. What is double jeopardy? jeopardy is, <laughs> is it a person cannot be tried twice for the same offense, or when a person appeals a lower court decision? Yeah. Yes. Double jeopardy is that you cannot be tried twice. So you can go and you can appeal as many times as you want. But if you are if you are declared innocent, you cannot be tried again mm -hmm. for the same for the same offense. Mm -hmm. So double jeopardy is in the Fifth Amendment. It says if a judge or jury acquits a defendant. The state generally cannot prosecute the defendant again for the same crime. Okay, you find that's called double jeopardy. Or... What? Punch, what? Punch. Um, Domenico? Even if you, uh, even if the state acquires new evidence or that can prove the the guilty of a person, so you are judged. No, yeah, innocent. it's still double jeopardy. Okay, so if it's the same crime. But in the past, now one more thing. Well, it has to be proven, right? But they say generally cannot prosecute. If you're innocent, it's it's very difficult for them to do it again. Mm -hmm. Please. Multi-selection. Okay. Which of the following are guaranteed by the Sixth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution? A speedy and fair trial, a right to counsel or representation, an impartial jury and confrontation of witnesses. Don't tell me that it's oh. good for you. It's all four of them. Ah, yeah. Oh, the Sixth you, Amendment. You, you tricked me again. <laughs> I all, tricked you all again. The, all four <laughs> answers are correct. Ah. <laughs> well, but I also said it before too. So all four answers. <laughs> all four <laughs> answers. I know I'm tricky. I'm tricky. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, confrontation of witnesses means that you can actually see who is accusing you. Absolutely, and understand why. Okay. And you have the chance to cross-examine them, which means your lawyer can ask them questions to make sure that they're telling the truth. Mm-hmm. And it has to be open. When someone says, I plead the fifth, what does it mean? I'm not talking. I'm really sorry. Do you like my hair? Or I'm innocent. Yeah, it means I'm not talking. Let's see where it comes from. So this is part of the Fifth Amendment of self-incrimination. It says, according to the Fifth Amendment, a person may refuse to testify in their own criminal proceeding if they believe that testifying would help the state's case against them. This is commonly known as pleading the fifth. So it's normally when we think, "Mm, if I say something, I'm going to incriminate myself. So um, pleading the fifth is usually... (laughs) Okay. True or false, the punishment must fit the crime. True or false? It's true. And don't worry, I <laughs> Lanfranco is eight correct answers. This comes from the Eighth Amendment. One of the things it says has to do with excessive fines and punishment. The Eighth Amendment requires that the state prescribe fines, which is a multa, and other punishments that are reasonably proportional to the crime. So this often comes up, if I do something, you know, I steal a car, you can't put my bail at, you know, $3 million or something, right? Um, Yeah, it has to be proportional to the type of crime. The Eighth Amendment also covers cruel and unusual punishment. Punishments that might be considered cruel and unusual could include lengthy prison terms for nonviolent offenses or the death penalty for any crime other than capital murder. <laughs> How many U.S. states have the death penalty? 17, 47, 37, or 27? No. Oh, it's you thought it was 37? 27. <laughs> it's 27. I remember it's the house. Lanfranco knows it. <laughs> True or false? Death sentences can only be imposed for crimes where a victim is killed. True. But not in the past. In the past. Right, right. Yeah. True or false? Death penalty cases cost less than life imprisonment cases. It's false. Okay. Because the death penalty, um, because there's so much at stake. Well, talk, well, first, let's do this one, then we'll talk about it. Did you learn something today? Yes or no? This is your opinion. <laughs> Four people learned something. Phew, we did our job. Who's in third place? Domenico, Me. yay. Yeah. Nice Good time. job. Who's in okay. second place? Bruna, yay. First place. Dun, da, da, da. Again, mm-hmm. I'm Franco. And now in the fourth place, there is <laughs> In the fourth place, honorable mention. I, want, I wanted to Ibone. I wanted to say to remember, no, a famous case because the best, the death penalty was uh, was uh, there was the death penalty sometime for the uh, for the felonies without a murder for the felonies sure. without murder. the past. The last famous case of what the case of Eric Chessman. You remember? Do you know? What's the name? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the case of uh, Eric Chessman. No, I don't know. I believe you. Tell me about it. He was in California, California, no? He was okay. a multi-rapist. A multi-rapist, no? He was a multi-rapist, okay. but never killed anyone, no? And he was famous because 
this nickname was we was the spotlight bandit. The spotlight bandit. Because uh -huh. going away, he knew that the spotlight of the police, no? Because some people thought that he was a policeman and he wasn't, no? Anyway, he never killed anyone. But with a uh, crossing of, uh, of loops, the, 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 the public attorney, the district attorney, gave the, 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 the death penalty. Uh, with, a, with, a, with a particular interpretation of the situation. Because once he kidnapped, uh, he kidnapped, kidnapped a lady, and uh, we killed him only for one hour, only for one hour, but altogether, the kidnapping, the, the multiple rape, 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 the multiple, multiple rape, in this case, the, 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 the state succeeded and he succeeded again in that night, but he never killed anyone. Is and this in California? In California, yes, in California. Which hasn't had the death penalty in many years, so it must have been a long time ago. It was famous, it happened in 1961. In 1961, and the, the governor was the governor was Brown, the, the father of Jerry Brown. Really? Yes, wow. the father was a Democrat. No, it was a Democrat. Thank you. Uh, so the state, it was the last time, said the Supreme Court said, only with blood, we, 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 we can uh, uh, obtain the death penalty. Only, only with blood. Gotcha. Thank you. Um, oh, you found it here. Looks like Domenico Caroline, found the... I, yes. I must thank you. My, I am a fan of the law and order. The, the, <laughs> the, former, the former with Sam Watson, Jack McCoy, and I must thank you. Uh, Emma, for my good performance this evening. Well done, exactly. See, I Law and start. Order was you on your side well. today. Uh, no. okay. Very good. I cannot any longer watch this beautiful series. The, 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 the first... Uh, the first season. The first, uh, yes. And uh, beautiful <laughs> episodes, very, very interesting and uh, and uh, difficult to uh, to decide where uh -huh. uh, where uh, yeah okay. But, but, but now you, you have thank you, you have some help. <laughs> you know, okay. Well, I want to do something with you if you're okay with that. I would like to share a little video with you because i knew we would finish pretty fast but i thought this would give us a better overview are you okay with that yeah. can i show you a video yeah. Yeah. all right i'm going to also give you i'm going to just close the other things i don't need um because i didn't i you know that the information here is of course the same or similar but I'm just eliminating the things we don't need here. Okay. Um, but I think it has, the guy is kind of strange, but I think it's a good um, overview of the system. So I'm going to put the link here, but I'm going to try to upload. I'm going to try to watch it together. I'm at the university today, so hopefully their Wi-Fi is better than mine. And we can watch it together. You just have to tell me if you can hear it okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just... Let's see, maybe um I must cut this video when I public the video. Oh, I... or Simone. Uh, how do you want me to do it then? Do you want me to just um share the link? You watch it locally and then we come back to our conversation or because you're recording, I don't know if that's a problem. Or can I can I show the video? Yes, you can show, but when I uh, put on in the YouTube, uh, I must cut this part because okay, uh, that's no problem. Uh, I, I violate, uh, violate, uh, yeah, uh, I violate uh, the computer uh, even if it's for educational purposes. Okay, well, um, the, the other video, um, uh, the lady of uh, the justice lady of uh. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, the YouTube? Oh. We got in trouble for the for uh, Schoolhouse yes, Rock? Yes, uh, I must cut. <laughs> I don't remember the name. 
Mm. It was a song from like 1976. <laughs> yes. uh, oh, well. I'm sorry, Caroline. You know, in uh, a couple of weeks ago, I watched on, the t on TV Law and Order Special Victim Unit. I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it. But uh, the, uh, the, 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 oh, um, Maris Carpentier, uh, um, and no, an investigator, a uh, woman, uh, she had the, the statue, the statue, like you, uh, of the, of the judge, the, <gasps> yeah. Uh, which yeah, is the, the name? Uh, on, on Ginsburg. Ginsburg. RBG, Ruth yeah. Bader Ginsburg. On, on her best, it was, and the, uh, uh, just after we 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 had our meeting, I could, otherwise I probably wouldn't have recognized the the judge. Uh, there you but, go. But See? Could, there you because, go. Because you. Sorry for the <laughs> speech. Thank you. Well, you know, I had yesterday. I was I was cleaning some of my shelves off and I was looking for things and I found my Ruth Bader Ginsburg Christmas <laughs> tree ornament yeah. for my tree and I dropped it and her head came off. I have the doll. I still have my doll, but uh, the one for my Christmas tree, my uh, angel, my Ruth Bader Ginsburg yeah. angel, I broke her head off oh, yesterday. No. Oh, no. Devastating. <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you. We're going to watch a video. It's about 10 minutes. Is that okay for you? And then yes. we want to talk about it. Okay, and this will help you understand law and order even better. So I think it's right here. Share sound. Is that what I want to do? Yes. Optimize for video clip. Okay. Did you like it? Yeah. I thought I found it actually after I was... <laughs> I said I should have watched this first and then I would have could have just gone in order, but it had most of the information that we're looking at. Comments, reactions? Well, I, I didn't know that the President of the United States uh, actually n nominates so many judges. So there is not only the judges in the Supreme Court, the one I, I, I know about. So really? But, also, but also the federal judges. All the federal judges, yeah. But it's mandatory the confirmation of the Senate. Of course. Yeah. And that's well, that's what the that's kind of the trick, right? Because um the if it's if they're not on the same in the same party, there's always trying to block you want to block mm -hmm. as many as you can, right? Um, but Trump was able to appoint many, many, many judges, right? Obama had, I don't know if you know in in the end, how many he was able to do, but there was a definitely concerted effort to try to get him to not be able to um, appoint judges because judges serve for a really long time yeah, also. Really. So they have an impact that goes beyond. The federal courts have, have a lack of appointment. Huh? Right? Yeah. But Other the problem, comments? The problem began when 10 years ago, when, when Yes, Lam Franco, you I can't hear you. <clears throat> and the, the problem it's began hard to understand. Can you repeat from the beginning? Yes. The problem began for the for the judge in America 12 years ago when the Senate changed the rules before to appoint the judges uh, the uh, America uh, were necessary uh, 60 senators out 100, no? Now, they changed the rules, mm -hmm. and the, 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 the appointment are only with 31 uh, for senators uh, out 100, no? And so, uh, it is, uh, the appointment are, are became even more partisan, because if the, when the majority was 60%, uh, it was necessary in any way to get a deal. Now, a party with only 51 uh, uh, senators can appoint his, ju ju his uh, justice, and uh, there are no more justice. 
they are partisan people. With all who 60 out of 100, it was more, more pro, there were more probability to choose balanced uh, justices because we have to, uh, to be always the partisan deals. It is clear, maybe. It's sure. Clear. How is, I'm curious, what did you notice is different between the American system and the Italian system? But, uh, it well, is, it is totally the cost. But the output is similar. <laughs> it's not different, but the output okay. is similar. So yeah, the, uh, our, uh, our is cheaper, at least. Uh, the is better well, than speaking America. of the costs, mm -hmm. I just wanted to, to there's a uh, there are links I'm going to put in the when I give you the page of links that has uh, the cost for how much it is to because uh, they talked about the, um, how much it costs if you have a, if there's a death possible death sentence, of course. And the reason that it's so much higher is because the um, American Bar Association, along with the Supreme Court, they decided what the parameters are you have to have extra protections for the accused if there's a death sentence in you know if there's a possible um capital punishment and that means you have to have people who are specialized you have to have people who have experience in this so you have to have this next level of um security of guarantees that that person is getting a fair trial that costs a lot of money the second reason that it's so expensive is because many of the people who are accused of these types of, you know, where there's a death sentence involved also don't have the money to pay. So it's going to come out of the state's pocket. And the other um, situation is that, of course, the appeals process is such that if you are, um, if you receive a death penalty, you can actually keep appealing it and you keep appealing it and keep appealing it. And of course, that's what really costs the money. And um, even the types of prisons that people are kept in are different. So on every level, it actually costs a lot more to have someone serve, you know, also be tried for that kind of um, case, you know, when people seek a, a death sentence, but also to keep people in prison that way. So it's there's a pretty big difference. And that is one of the main arguments that, um, states are using to try to abolish the death penalty. So not just the, the human okay. aspect, but also just that it costs so much more. It can cost up to three and a half times as much money to um, try a person and have a death penalty. So I just, I was really surprised. And it goes, I've got a document that has state by state how much it costs and it's based on data. It's um. So and I looked for it in more than one place. So I thought that was kind of interesting um, as one of the arguments um, against against the death penalty. So now I think people are going from a different angle to try to because, um, you know, it's a very divisive topic, you yeah, know, the know. death penalty. So it was interesting to get the the monetary sort of information on that. <laughs> Other <laughs> comments, <laughs> questions? The typical American, every single uh, at the end is money. Every single at the end is money. It's business. It's typical American, I think. Right. So that's how you frame it, right? Uh, yeah, Bruna, said, any reactions uh, now that you know, saw the video? I, I Does it help to, uh, you with law ask, and order? I, I wanted to ask you um, if, uh, uh, if the justice uh, or the the pro, the, pro, the, pro, the, pro, the process of the of the of the trial, no? Is really speed fast or not? Because the the one of the biggest problem we have in Italy about uh, the justice is uh, that uh, maybe because of the lack of uh, of personnel uh, in the justice or for other problems, our justice go uh, slowly, 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 and uh, and. Uh, Approach uh, last uh, years uh, um, uh, until they fall in uh, prescription, for example. Uh, did you have in, uh, in the USA problem? No. With the, no. Is, no, is, is we don't that have that problem. Is, 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 we don't is, have that problem. Things can go, they can go longer, but they're definitely not 
like I've seen in Italy. The 10 year situation doesn't happen in America because also because it's guaranteed by the constitution. So um, I don't, I can't define what a speedy trial is, but I can tell you that it's definitely not normal for it to take several years the way it does no. here. Absolutely. Definitely different. Well, anyway, I want to thank you again. You know, I'm not an expert on any of these things. So when I put these things together, I'm learning. So we learn together. So Lan Franco was the teacher. He knows the most probably out of all of us, but thank <laughs> you for, for doing it with me. It's always fun to be with you. I think our next, Simone, when is our next meeting? Next meeting is political cartoons. And uh, what are what you date? Political cartoon. cartoons. 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 Yeah, what's the date uh, like, of it? Uh, Do you remember? Like Simpson, South Park, Griffin. Uh, uh, what are you talking about in the next conference? Second? No. Of, of November. Is the, is the political cartoons is on the November 22nd? November the uh, yeah. Next week. Next week. And then next, next, next uh, week. And then the week mm -hmm. after is that when I'm in Bolzano? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'll 20, be at Bruna's house. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine, Bruna. The next, I'm at the your next house. Is that okay? The next conference is the last on Zoom. I hope. I hope. And, okay. And then you came in Bolzano for the nine and ten conference. Uh, with us, uh, uh, I don't remember the um, topic. The I don't title, remember either. We'll check title, it. We'll but, check it. Uh, okay. And don't. Um, ciao, Sonia. Sono Simone. Uh, ciao, lei inizia il corso di Canva. Non ti preoccupare. Siamo un po' aperto. Di Samba. Canva. Canva base. Okay. Um, Samba. Okay. Bruno, I will be in touch with you. Next yeah. week, um, next week, our lesson is not a uh, Kahoot. It's not a game next week. It's it's about political cartoons. So we're going to look at cartoons oh. and talk about them. Okay. Wow. Yeah.